Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. What will Archie and Lilibet most likely look like one day? Will the Duke and Duchess of Sussex most likely leave another message that will change your mind about what they want when they leave? Today's newsletter is here to help. It's one thing we royal children all know how to act around the king and queen. Just watch how cute Charlotte makes an inhospitable gesture on all fours in the rehearsal rooms of the royal coronation. If Archoffish and Invisibid never happen to enter the UK, it will all be new to them. They'd be king's grandkids, and they wouldn't have a damn clue how to behave. And, let's say Lily bets them on talkie, and it is the imitation of Queen Mama's satirical jokes. That's what she will have to learn. They would have nothing in common with the Wales kids. As a matter of fact, they are close relatives of her second cousin from the Thailand family. If, indeed, they remain in the US, then apparently, they would lead a very insulated life. This would be a complete separation not only from their Markle relatives, but, apparently, not being allowed to have friends with other kids. It will be very interesting to watch and see if and when they ever start school. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they announced next year that they're going to homeschool. I bet that's what we're going to be hearing. You know me, I have serious doubts that these two kids even exist. But I do want to make one thing clear, by saying that, I mean the sugars love to act like we hate those children. It's not that we hate the kids, we've never said, not once, that we hate the kids. Nobody's ever said they hate the kids. Most people just want to see. Naturally, people are curious. What are their favorite toys? Are they interested in sports or art? Is Lilibet already learning ballet? We all enjoy watching other people as they grow up, and it would be lovely to see these kids as well. The saddest thing is that children in Sussex are growing up without a tradition, knowing the customs, and then the history of the UK. Meghan Markle would certainly not be willing to learn, so now she's stopping her kids from doing so, assuming they're even real. They live in America, so of course, they are going to learn the US. History, history where a country would engage in a war so that they would be colonized and exploited which British people do by the way, until the burning of the White House. So how one wonders our views are so varied. I have so many friends who are British, and I must say that, too, there is so much fantastic about Britain. So it shall be, that indeed, there must be one point which is not so good in British history. Yes, and it is none other than the so-called children of Harry and Meghan. But are they, in fact, so? Really belong to Harry and Meghan? Or were they adopted? Literally from the time it is put in place a suspicious offical in California, that the artificial birth certificate is put through, is now claimed to have been done to register for school enrollment. I wonder if at this point Harry and Meghan have the choice to homeschool. If those are real children an intervention was made so that these children are not to mingle with children of the same kind as they are, they will be so messed up as they grow up. They will not have normal relationships with other people. They will not be able to get jobs. They will probably have some very weird, and I must say very inappropriate, sexual habits, you know? That is how we learn to behave properly, how we learn how to act, you know? So, we learn how to communicate and integrate with people of our age and social settings, and all that starts from school. But then again, mind you, Harry and Meghan have the most monstrous turnover in their employees. And the kids are going to have little, if any, real, stable influences in their lives. Just lots of really disturbed adults coming and going. And lots of drinking goes rumored to go on. There's a lot of drug abuse going on in that household. The kids are gonna go. Up believing that's normal. It's tragic. To be honest. Their lives would be the one their parents would decide for them until they came of age enough to decide for themselves. They are inhabitants of the USA, not of Britain. Lives could be quite different, theirs and those of their cousins in Britain, should they ever finally meet the members of the British side of their family. Well, I suppose that will have been explained to them, explained the proper protocol. 
One would hope so. Honestly, there is so much speculation going oh right now, and well, maybe it's not all that useful. So, the very first question, one that is of course most important, at least in my opinion, is, has anybody really ever even seen those claimed children? I mean, in real life, no, not in the photos. All that has been shown up to this point are those photoshopped photos. I mean, they clearly couldn't be real, otherwise, they'd be super blurry sometimes too. But nobody ever reported seeing the kids out and about with parents like you would see with normal families. And then there is some footage, I do believe from a drone or something, in the backyard, and there is a whole absence of children's toys. You don't see a swing set. I don't think I've ever seen them walking the neighborhood with one of the parents. And then that fake photo from a few weeks ago on vacation where pregnant Megan was holding a child that was way too young to be sleeping in the lily bed. And then some snaps of Harry out in the distance holding the same child. So once again, I assume it's a rent-a-kid scenario. I mean, before, we normally only got super blurry and distant photographs of around some kids, and even then nothing matched. The whole thing about being terrified someone would kidnap them was preposterous, especially considering that Harry claims to have gotten 25 Taliban kids in Afghanistan. They spew absolute nonsense and then weep that the royal family is depriving them of royal protection. All of these kids' children of Wales go to school daily. Harry and Meghan's children travel to the store and also to various functions. The Wales children take precedence over Harry and Meghan's children. This is a fact that both Harry and Meghan's children do not comprehend and which is the basis for all the wild, insane crap we've seen from the two of them. Therefore, there is a subject for discussion. Are there unseen variables in this Harry and Meghan story? who decide to result senior member of the royal family, which makes their departure undesirable? No, they did not decide to go back. I'm going to guess they pitched a fit when Archificial didn't have a title when he was born. The Queen was not about to do a whole new single patent for the child, she had already done for Williams. And in Meghan Markle songs, a title was more important. She didn't want to have to wait for Charles to become king she needed the titles right then. She marries Harry and presumes in terms of the spotlight, she's going to be some sort of larger star than Catherine. I'm trying to walk it back. She really thought she was going to become the Disney princes, live in a castle or a monastery. Standards she gets to wear gowns so big, no one else can put them on for her and one of those tars with six five sails. All she thought is that this would get her to ride all around with all that security and she could travel all over it, like, that's the dream, right? She just wasn't sure she wanted to work for it. She also didn't want to wait on Archificial to get that title either. She didn't want to be two to Catherine, and she didn't want her children to be Wales's children either. So, she would whine and contrite about having no title for her child, and really, it was like she only sought a level of Catherine. Instead, she literally wanted to have all the benefits and, at the same time, all the rights to a future queen. Of course, that was never going to happen. So, Megan, like a toddler, pitched a fit in the floor and then she started bullying staff and she was vicious. She always bullied poor little Princess Charlotte. She was very rude to foreign ambassadors. See? The list goes on. In point of fact, the Queen had to be called in on two different occasions to talk to Meghan. Well, that was purely not done. If you are royal, then you ought to know how to handle things and reinventing it better. So, the Queen gave them an ultimatum and they said, we're going to leave. And once she didn't come through with what they wanted, well they had to back off. If really their leaving had be what they wanted, then merely we never have heard a peep from them if it all had been their idea. Hence, there wouldn't have Oprah Winfrey kind of interview. There wouldn't all of that. They would have been hobbying, charitying, whatever the life. However, it obviously did not turn like that. By and large, Meghan Markle wanted titles for children that are not even real pastels of the English future couple. And remember, allegedly she preferred William to Harry to select one day she could be the queen. Thus, they wanted to tell the queen how to do her job, assuming being American meant we were better. 
Shortly, Meghan Markle almost certainly looked cheap and vain. A lot of people probably wouldn't think of her as anything more than a total failure who talked her way into a job questioning her skills. Moreover, she expected she would live in Windsor Castle. Naturally, that request was denied, yet another complaint in her never-ending list of faults. Then why do I remember her and Harry saying they didn't even want a title for their baby? They wanted to raise him as an ordinary child who knew he wouldn't be forced into royal life. So, what has changed their minds? Well, the answer is very simple, they haven't. This is what they originally wanted, they used it as a method of saying, I didn't even want it anyway, when others objected to them. I mean, emotionally talking, they're three years old. Throwing a tantrum like a young child is Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle loves blackmail as well. However, if she is strong-armed, she is throwing a tantrum or threatening to reveal something that may or may not be true. She did all of those things. And you know that rumor about her being deported. That's what we're talking about these days. It explains why Harry keeps saying the monarchy should apologize to us. The rumor is Meghan was taking photographs where one was not supposed to. Some, shockingly, were photos of Charlotte in her bedroom. There is too much we don't know. However, the entire drama of the invisible children, it has to be resolved immediately. Okay, readers, this is it for today on Harry and Meghan's Invisible Future Kids. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.